This is a brief video showing some of the features found in the Pro version of graphical analysis that Logger Pro users will be familiar with. The first feature is custom calculated columns. This experiment, I have a temperature probe that is showing temperature in Celsius, but I also want to show temperature in Fahrenheit. I click on the column options button and choose to add a calculated column. I can set up my column to be temp Fahrenheit, units of Fahrenheit. We'll stick to two decimal places and then we can insert an expression. I'm going to choose the custom expression option. I can now type in exactly the formula the way it looks. Nine fifths times the temperature column has to be in quotes. That's like Logger Pro. And then I want to add 32 to that. And I can apply. What might also be nice is if I could have a meter uh, that shows that calculated column expressed while I'm collecting the data. I can do that by hitting the three dot icon here next to my meter uh, and choose to add or remove meters. You see I have the ability to choose any calculated column or any column in my data set as a meter and then I can say done. So now I have it both temperature in Celsius and in Fahrenheit. Let's just change this one to red so we can see that more clearly. All right. Now I can collect my data. Another feature of the pro version of graphical analysis is the ability to manually fit this data with a line. If I choose my graph options button, I can go down and see to add a manual fit. And the manual fit is a line that allows me to drag it around. And so I can choose either endpoint to drag or I can drag the middle so I can get the best match to my data as possible and we get um, our relationship. Another feature I want to talk about is strike through data. In this graph, you see I have temperature plotted versus time, and I have two very distinctly different regions of the data, one where the probe was warming and one where it's cooling. I want to focus my analysis on just the cooling portion. It may be beneficial to hide or strike through the data that I'm not interested in so it's not distracted. So I highlight the region of which I want to remove and then choose the strike through option. You see my data table has the struck values marked. Another feature that Logger Pro users are familiar with is the use of error bars. Error bars show the variation we can expect in the data as collected by the tools that we're using. Error bars are a function of the column itself. So I want to set the error bar for a particular uh, curve. I choose the, the column options for that column, and I have the choice to show the error bars. I can choose a fixed value, like for temperature probe 0 0.5, half degree Celsius, plus or minus, or I can use a percentage, or I can use a, a column if I know each point has a specific error relationship. Choose apply. And I get my error bars added to my graph. Another feature Logger Pro users are used to is showing uncertainty in the calculations related to curve fits. Here I've got a graph that looks somewhat exponential. And let's go ahead and apply an exponential curve fit to that data. So I'll choose my natural exponent. And we see that that looks like a pretty nice match, but how does that actually compare in terms of its error in those coefficients? To show that, I use the gear icon on the output box for my curve fit. And I choose the option to show the uncertainty for those parameters, and I get those values.